make a start on this glass bung just wanted to take this time to thank you guys for all the support obviously I was going to be going traveling things change rapidly I explained that a little bit uh, on a new platform that I'm using called patreon it's, it's to be fair it's blown me away uh, I started this yesterday uh, just a little write up about what's going on a bit about my past as well just the reason why I've got into cars I'm so passionate about it I linked you guys on my Instagram, the link's in my bio, just ask you guys to head over there and just have a read if you're interested in, in what's been going on. Uh, again, the response was absolutely mad. Uh, what this Patreon thing is, is it's not me begging for, for your support in any way. I've had a, a big change where I've had to move back to my hometown. Um, I'm, I'm living back with my dad. Uh, considering I had my own place. This time last year, I, I was all set up. I was, I was really happy. Things have changed. I'm in, a, I'm in a spare room, laying in a single bed, which absolutely sucks. So I, I paid enough rent to my dad for me to stay there till July. Uh, as soon as July comes, hopefully I've made myself enough money where I can I've moved back out and get my own place again. A lot of you know I'm, I'm a self-employed builder. Getting into filming was something I wanted to do for traveling. Not going traveling now. I've, I've got the gear, I, I wanted to give this filming a go within within the car world, going to shows, shooting some cool videos, vlogs, I also thought I could introduce a bit of how-to videos, tutorials, all the modifications that I'm going to take out on the R32. I know a lot of you guys were heavily involved uh, a few seasons ago, a lot of messages come in, I replied as much as I could on DMs, I really tried interacting with everyone, so coming back and wanting to do this now full time, I've had to take a huge sacrifice and although I, I don't like building that much anymore, I've actually put my tools down, I've decided to, to give this a go and I've set up the system called Patreon where you guys can help me and support me to continue making these sort of videos. Like I said, I'll be going to shows, I want to shoot videos of other cars if we can, if we can make that happen, I'm willing to travel or meet people in my area. And the main thing is, is just showing and sharing you guys my knowledge that I built up through the years of just getting stuck into a car. A lot of you guys are quite young messaging me. You're young, you kind of want to jump in feet first. It took me four years until, until I got my car up and running and, and ready for shows. So don't rush it, don't spend all your money on your first car. Just, just find what you like doing and uh, practice that. Get stuck in, pick up a spanner, start on doing bolts. At the end of the day, it all goes back together. There's plenty of people out there that can help you, including myself. So with the Mark IV, I've had a Mark IV for five years. I had the Mark IV Bora. Um, I had the blue R32. I then swapped an E36 for a PD150 Mark IV Golf. I've now got this R32 Golf. I, 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 quite, I know them quite well. I know them inside out. I've, I've, I've read the manuals. I've installed air ride numerous times now on these cars. A lot of engine modifications. So it is, it's quite literally just getting stuck in. And YouTube was a big, big thing for me um, back then, which I didn't even know. I was always using it for tutorials. I never thought I could use it for myself. So the Patreon thing is is, is a big support. Is a big help considering I'm I'm, I'm not working at the moment. I've, there is work for me as I'm self-employed and I've got contacts but I really want to just use this time to concentrate on filming on these tutorials so YouTube YouTube is a platform where people make loads of money from I've spoke to a few people and they're supporting me no end and then there's a few people so you've got to be weary so I, I don't I, I know I know the, the pros and cons from it but if, if I don't give it a go then I'm, I'm never gonna know am I so but just waking up this morning, uh, I went to bed last night, and there was six patrons on my on my new platform. They donated. Some have donated five pounds. Some have donated twenty-five pounds. It's 
it's not a fund or a little pot for me to take out and put into my car. I've got money for that. I've, I've saved to go travelling. Uh, so I'm using that money. This money is just purely to help me take this day off work, uh, a Friday off work, so I can come out here and just show you a little modification. I know it's only a, it's only a glass bun, but it, it's just helping you guys with ideas. It's, it, everything's doable, so I'm just, I'm just going to try and do this as much as I can get videos out to you guys once or twice a week. Uh, there, there's more income streams that I can tap into uh, to help me support this. I've, I've also said that I want to start filming other people's cars. I'd love to do that. And I, I'm offering five, the first five that I filmed for free. But after that, I'm, I'm going to have to start making some money. And I know I'm not a professional, but I'm trying my best. And to be fair, I, I quite enjoy my content. When, when it's finished, I, I get really excited to share it with you guys and having the response, uh, like getting interacted and, and replying to all the messages. So hopefully we can hopefully we can keep this up and I can keep making videos for you guys. But let's get onto this glass bun then, shall we? Right, right so first thing first, you just want to pop off this little plastic cover here that you got going on. You'll learn I'm quite heavy handed, so. <laughs> Undo this little belt there. Right, so we've moved that now. It was a 13mm, not 10mm. Volkswagen is a, it's literally 10, 10 mil and a 13mm socket, you take the whole car apart. So that's going to be on there pretty tight. I have loosened it off now already, but if you just shut the boot, give it a good old wiggle up and down, side to side, that'll soon break free, and you can just pull that off. If you've taken wipers off before, you'll know that's a bit of a pain in the ass, but just give it a little tap on the end. Give it a little wiggle and it'll come straight off. And that's that part done. So I'm going to try and show you guys as best as I can. This is a one man band so I can't show you guys as much as I'd like to. But I'll try and set the camera up and just explain to you what I'm doing while I'm going ahead. It's a fairly simple procedure. Get your glass bun from Killer Wipers. Done. Air freshener. Smells good. Done. Mastic comes with it, good. Screwdriver, yeah, keys, that is them. So we've got to do is just got to start off with removing the plastic cover there. Phillips screwdriver, screws inside the grab holes there. Inside the, um, inside these little doodars, one there, one on that side, and then it literally just all pulls off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that quickly. <clears throat> right, so this has never been taken off. This is actually gonna be quite stiff. Just hold the boot lid, get your hand up inside that and just give it a good old pull. It should come straight down. Easy. So you're then left with this, so you can see all behind there. That's your motor for your wiper. You've got your water feed there. When you unplug that, you might get a little bit of water come through. So what we're going to do is just going to remove this motor, remove the cable and the electrics, etc. Like I said, should have grabbed yourself a, a 10 mil socket spanner or whatever, and we can get that undone. There you have it, the motor. There you go, that's where you'll be putting your glass bunk. So you just need to disconnect your water line. Um, assuming that's just like a little push and pull jobby and then your water line that goes up through there just bend that back on yourself get a cable tire pinch it nice and tight if you want stick a screw in the end as well just for safe safe measures and unplug your power there we have it that's the motor so just keep hold of that keep hold of your wiper if you ever want to put it back to stand it's always good to have you're not going to get any money for it really unless you want some money to go buy yourself some chicken nuggets and do it. Right, so we're all sorted now. Motor's out, wipers off, the uh, water hoses kept tied up, pushed up completely out of the way. Who's this? Hey, bro. What's up, dude? What are you saying? How are you getting old, mate? Good, mate. Just uh, in the middle of a vlog, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Uh, I hope that isn't bad. Huh? I hope that I'm ruining things. No, nah, man. You're on You're on it. Good. You're live, mate. Say hello to everyone on YouTube. Oh, hello there. <laughs> well, hello, hello there. there. Nice to meet you all. <laughs>
What are you doing? Hey, what are you up to tonight, mate? Nothing, mate. I've got no plans. No plans? No plans. Do you want to nerd it out and go to the cinema with me? We're going to the cinema? Well, like a little date. Yeah. Like a little date. Hey? Like yes, a little date. Yes. Yeah, let's do it. I'm driving. I'm driving, though, so you are the date. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, you like that? Yeah, sounds good. Cool, man, cool. Uh, I'll give you a text in a bit. I've got to do some jobs around the house. Yeah, alright, man. Peace. Alright. Take it easy, bro. Bye. See you, mate. Oh, I love that guy. So that's Reese. Uh, I used to work in a kitchen before I started building, so we're talking like six, seven years ago. Uh, I was being a trainee chef and he was there. And I've become friends ever since. He's getting married this year. I was meant to be going traveling. I wasn't going to be able to make it. It was all teary and I'm staying and it's all teary again. So he sent me an invitation. Uh, we might be going to Amsterdam for his stag do. Uh, I'll show you guys later anyway who he is, I'll introduce him. But back to this anyway, so we're all set up. I've got the uh, mastic all glued on to the bung. I've been saying that it's a glass bung. It's not a glass bung, it's plastic, but it's still sick quality. So when you put it in, it will it will match, match your glass. I'm also getting the windows tinted as well, so it'll be even washier. But yeah, so what we've done, we're, we're all set here now. So the wipers off, the motor's out, this little rubber grommet just needs to come out here. Don't need that. So this is what it looks like from underneath. Just grab yourself a, a rag or whatever, give that a little wipe over. Make sure there's no grit on it. There's the, the bung. It's got the mastic on. I only need a thin layer, don't go over the top of all this, it'll start squidging out everyone, it won't look great. What I will do though is I'll take that little protective bit off, because otherwise it's going to be a pain in the ass when it's in my car, so I'll take that off first. Oh man, look how shiny it is. So we're just going to pop that in now, show us all down. Literally just squidge that in there. It's going to be cut perfectly to shape, so I wouldn't worry about that. Give it a little, little push on there. What I've done as well is I've uh, got myself a bit of sanitape. I'm just going to tape over the top of that just so it holds on there and give that a few hours so it's nice and set and then rip that off. Yeah, so I'll just put a bit of sanitape on there. Might even just keep it on there because you don't, you don't see it anyway. Uh, so that mastic will set and then this is what it looked like on the outside. There we have it. I see a little bit of dirt there from when the thing used to be there before, but give that a clean over, I don't even know. Just looks so much better. A lot of people argue like why the hell would you get rid of it because you can see out your rear window. I clean my car religiously. That rear window is always clean, I don't need no wiper. And it looks hella better. There we go, nothing majorly interesting guys. Nothing majorly interesting, I know, but it's the first little mod that I'm doing. I told you I'm going to take you through everything that I do. You might have gone ahead and got a, a rubber grommet or whatever and plugged it in there from being q or whatever. It just don't look great. So, contact Killer Wipers. Make sure you grab yourself a bung. It's a cheap kit for, for what you get. It's amazing. So, you get the mastic and everything like that. So, that's that. What I'm going to do now is I'm uh, we're going to give the car a bit of a clean because it's a bit dirty. It's uh, Friday now. I was going to continue this vlog on to Sunday where I install the air ride at Brendan's unit. Uh, I feel this has probably gone on a little bit too much so I'm going to make this video as one. Uh, just a little thank you as well for everyone that's headed over to my new platform Patreon. Uh, joined, joined over there. It's helping me no end uh, trying to get back to you guys as much as I can. Really appreciate it. So yeah, subscribe to the new YouTube channel, like, comment, get involved and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.